and clap to the master guys you definitely back again for another one on the one and only mr Lex reacts channel guys big up all the mr Lex youtube family for tuning to this year reaction video and of course the newcomers are there big up yourself for tuning into this year reaction video of course this is where i react to the number of videos taking place in dominica the caribbean and the rest of the world by extension pretty much doing with that of the caribbean diaspora so if you want to become a part of mr Lex family definitely do so by subscribing and then clicking the bell and then clicking also you can be notified on all the videos when i drop them right there and then i didn't drop yesterday but of course your boy is definitely back again today i dropped the vlog video which of course will be in the first comment in the comment box below and of course definitely download the app right there mr Lex tube app that'll of course be in the first comment in the comment box below as well of course i did a vlog yesterday guys like well i dropped the vlog yesterday of course zip lining guys we zip lining in come tall man or cup tall whatever they call in that place man big up the master is out and larger the link right there of course for link is up link it us up and of course we did a vlog on that vibration it was pretty fun man people were scared to come and do zip lining man <laughs> but of course individuals definitely came true and of course face their fears brothers and sisters crossing the shaky bridge man we cross the bridge <laughs> we we cross the bridge brothers and sisters anyways guys and a more serious vibrations for this year reaction we pretty much have this very sentiment echoed on the facebook page by this individual in dominica politics right there and of course this individual is stating i was just watching a video I actually saw that video right there where kian the individual who is alleged to have taken the little the missing girl right there um where kian was pleading pleading he was pleading pretty much i just want to be a good person please be patient with me have mercy on me he begged did anyone hear that did anyone understand that cry from this year individual for which the police then took his life the only man that would know where this missing little one is right there or they just dismissed him and said it's the zombie that's speaking inside of you. He has some zombie for real, no doubt about it. I think some pastor should come front and rebuke Satan out of him, man. But of course, that opportunity is no longer there because the police took his life. It is triggered, unfortunately. And anyway, you look at it. Pretty much the person saying, anyway, you look at it. This is a very sad story indeed. The missing girl is still missing, brothers and sisters. Which is beg which begs my question: What what updates have the police given? Uh, or are the police waiting for for everybody to stop talk about it you know human beings i think we are experiencing the, one of the best psychological examples when it comes down to human retention because humans tend to forget things that are not being reiterated over and over so the police don't talk about it the prime minister don't talk about it nobody seems to be talking about it in the airways in the media waves and as a result of that things just bypass us as if nothing happens at all what is the latest update on this? Has the police stopped searching? Have they updated the, the population stating that they have stopped those um, researches? What is the latest going on? This individual, of course, in question, um, Lofty Dura, uh, was asking some interesting things right there, or putting some statements out there in this regard. A child should never, a little one should never be allowed to disappear without a trace. Like Kanisha. Never! It just shows how we are. And as I'm reading this right there, the the, the 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 shepherd comes to mind when most i was talking about him being the shepherd and of course if one has gone missing he will leave the 99 and go and search for that one that one little one is missing no trace no word nothing in the public well not according to my knowledge have you guys heard anything in the public leave that of course in the comment box below so others can know as well but i haven't heard anything in this regard where the, the police individuals come out and say okay guys we have done our search and stop searching which i think would be the best well not the best but the, this is what i think they would do well logically if you actually do care what the population thinks instead of letting it fade out and then when people do ask you say oh we stopped such two months ago have the police indicated anything like that to to, to the pop population have have the, the speakers come out the liars come out and say something at least try to tell some sort of truth have they indicated anything like that anything like that guys have you known if you, if they have indicated guys let me know that in the comment box below because i haven't heard anything in this regard right there. anyways this individual says today today marks one month i think this was yesterday when i got this screenshot right there factual information answers must be forthcoming in order to bring closure to this very situation right there this bizarre case will not die a natural death as some people wish I'm going to try my best to keep this afloat as much as possible, guys. But it's also on you guys to bring pressure on the police, them, to answer these important questions. 
it is important it's not just coming and say oh somebody go missing oh let's forget them man remember the, the individual's mother went missing too without a trace up to today she might be alive she might be overseas somewhere but the mother stated that she had the the the, the missing missing girl's mother's passport so what exactly happened people just, just disappear just like that guys you know much people disappear in dominica a lot of people have been disappearing in dominica without no trace no trace at all the only person i know they found was the lady that went missing and of course some individual from montrat came down dominica and utilized the skill set that he learned in montrat as a police officer and utilized that in dominica and he found the lady that's the only person i know that ever went missing that was found so we just we just going to let another one slide that that's that's what we're doing in america okay all right all right then anyways guys moving along this individual is stating we need independent outside investigators the institutions in dominica cannot handle these investigations they proved it this can be used in both ways and in terms of the elections as well as this missing individual that's what popped in my head when i was reading this stuff right now oh please we need independent outside investigators the institutions in dominica not institution you know mark you institutions in dominica this is why i was comp I, I was telling people about the incompetence of the people in positions the people in positions seem to be just placeholders for the very people to maintain power the people at the top to maintain power not necessarily the effective people needed in the right positions to bring dominica forward that's why dominica doesn't go backwards this is why it's very clear this individual said the institutions in dominica cannot handle the investigation they've proved it facts right there brothers and sisters i like finally let me know that in the comment box below as well anyways guys i remember some very same situation about things just going disappearing and information disappearing but i must bring forth that very same situation right there what is happening with the international airport guys they signed a billion dollar contract with some montreal individuals on june 11 2021 this was the ceremony that they, they had in the stadium big ceremony <laughs> and what is happening right now brothers and sisters we have no idea moving along as of may 23rd 2022 that was about almost two months ago the prime minister indicated that plans for international airport office complex plans for international airport office complex is being finalized see prime minister so no international airport but the international airport office so we we, we looking to build the office first and then maybe the international airport afterwards or they plan to utilize menville airport and build an international airport office there and maybe extend the in the, the menville airport and then that's it i don't know what are your thoughts guys do you think they're actually working on stuff because i know for from the last time i went around easter time i don't know what is happening now the people in wesley can let us know in the comment box below what exactly is happening with the international airport but when i went there boss bush they clear the land you saw the land looking clear and they maybe have to flatten it i don't i don't think they'll be in international airport like that <laughs> they have to flatten the land but we saw bush there brothers and sisters bush making ding dong is like they're building international airport for ants to fly bring paper plane and let it fly man international travel from one end of the island to the next across the world man interesting stuff and of course the prime minister stated that his government is finalizing plans for construction of a major office complex for the one billion dollar but to me you have to build the one billion dollar international airport first before you put the office no or you put the office first then the international airport i don't know <coughs> what are your thoughts guys a lot of things are happening where the international airport is concerned well apparently a lot of things might be happening but not on the ground now maybe it happening behind closed doors somewhere hey what about the international airport man Man, we'll, we'll talk about that sometimes. That is a lot of things, you know, sometimes. It just depends on who you're asking. What is the amount of things being discussed behind closed doors? But apparently, when you watch the area of the inter international airport, it's becoming a jungle again. You can Google Earth it, you know, if you think it's a joke I'm making. Google Earth it and you'll see for yourself. 
We have finalized the construction of a major office complex for the airport, a three-story building in Wesley, on the location of the former. Oh, so that's not even where the international airport will be. It's the office complex that they'll be building. Okay, all right. Oh, okay, all right then. All right then. According to him, a contractor. So, we, 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 we. <laughs> We don't build the international airport, it's office we're looking to build. The office of the international airport. I wonder how much people are going to fly overseas to come into the international, of, international airport office. <laughs> Without the international airport. So we're pretty much building the office. They're just calling the international airport office. Without the international airport? Maybe it's me that's slow. I probably slow. I, I maybe I may be slow. Why so fast that I cannot fathom what I just read in there? We also build home for individuals. Of course, you talk about twelve squatters getting single apartment homes, and it's interesting that you talk about twelve squatters. Has the squatters squatted on the land long enough for them to be able to obtain it on government public land? You cannot squat on people land and take the land, you know, guys. But if you squat on government land for a number of years, that land belongs to you. You can then register your name and everything on it. But if they are building 12 apartments for these squatters who maybe they don't know how the rule works will just accept an apartment that will never belong to them. So building 12 single apartments for 12 squatters is a good thing in the essence that they didn't bypass the, type, the amount of time that they squatted on the land on government land and public land. But if that is not the case and they have actually squatted on the land i think for 10 years i think it is then they building inter arm single apartment house for you versus the the worth of that land i think you might want to rethink that i, I could be wrong i think you might want to rethink that those of you who are this is why it's important to know things before people just come and just tell you foolishness <laughs> We'll build the apartments for you, man. You have your shack there in the house. You squat it there. We'll build an apartment for you. Make you build, stay in a better place. If you have a shack on that land, brothers and sisters. If you have a shack. A old burgundy house on that land. And you stay the right amount of time. That land is yours. If you allow the government to take back that land. To build into, um, to put you in an apartment. Which of course you cannot use that land again. <laughs> Boy. But that's something else, we. It's important to know, guys. It's important to know. Right there. Prime Minister Scary now talk about the pre-budget consultation. For agriculture is our what? Number one priority. Remember the same Prime Minister was saying, if not CBI, what else? If not CBI, what else? But they knew agriculture was there. But because they decide, the, the international spectrum saying, oh, yeah, that thing might be risky for us, man. You giving people international um, um, Dominica citizens, they can obtain visas to come and what not do, do things in places. We don't know this kind of individual to do background check based off the track record back to Dominica. Because if you have a track record and, and, and using a Dominica passport that you obtain, it stops at the Dominica passport, you know. Which means all your criminal dirty ways at the back there, wherever in your home country. It, do, it doesn't show up in Dominica, you know. They have to show in Dominica your Polish record in Dominica. True or false? Let me know that in the comment box below, brothers and sisters. <laughs> so they are checking, well, that can be a bit dangerous thing for them. And they have told um, 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 CBI individuals, stop advertising that people can come in visa-free travel into UK. And they say stop using that as a selling point. And of course, you know they have a huge problem with that. And CBI is dying. But the Prime Minister is always talking about the very thing. If not CBI, what else? Apparently... Look at that, you know. Agriculture is our number one priority. This was today. He stated that. July 8th, 2022, not 2021. 2 p.m., brothers and sisters. This was an hour ago. Friday, July 8th, 2022. At 2 p.m., they wrote this article. PM states, agriculture is our number one priority. Therefore, he tells farmers pre budget consultation is being provided right there guys this was sent to me yesterday this video right there in terms of the usage of monies and so forth and so forth this individual has some important points 
that I want to bring forth to you guys as well. What are your thoughts on this, guys? Let's take a listen. This thing is moving too much. Let me know now, your thoughts. Another suggestion which is topical and has caused some controversy is I actually think we need lifestyle audits. He's saying we actually, he actually think that we need lifestyle audits. Okay, let's continue. You'll understand that in a moment, brothers and sisters. Take your time. I was attorney, attorney solicitor general. I worked as attorney general. Let me make this bigger. Why should I be afraid of being checked if I didn't steal? Hmm. Guys, no. These are African individuals. Picture it in Dominica term. Let me bring it back for you guys. Right there. Picture this in Dominica terminology. Okay? Put our individuals, our, our ministers, our government in this regard right there okay let's 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 get it now another suggestion which is topical and has caused some controversy is i actually think we need lifestyle audits hmm. i was attorney atten solicitor general i worked as attorney general why should i be afraid of being checked if i why should our officials be afraid of being checked why why should they if you have done if you have not done no wrong i mean sometimes you can feel it on your personal basis you know individuals versus public individuals are, are different private versus public individuals the private sector and the public sector are two different spectrums the public sector especially people you put to vote there you must make sure the money that they're using is accounted for apparently we're not doing that at all and they must account it to the people because it's the people's money not their money cbi is not the prime minister only no government owned it is the people's money and therefore the people must be the, the money must be accounted to the people right there why does that happen in dominica if not why so what is happening behind closed doors remember the 1.2 billion dollars that went missing the 2.3 billion dollars the 4.3 billion dollars what else it seems like it's going up and up and up not true well i don't think it'll go up again cbi die <laughs> How many of your thoughts in this regard, right? Right there, guys. I didn't steal. Bring that back. Why should I be afraid of being checked if I didn't steal? I should be asked what I have, how I got it, and when I tell you that it's from allowances, I should prove that. True. If I tell you I have businesses, let me show the businesses, but I should also show what tax I paid. True that. True or false? I mean, you have a business operating in a country. I mean, I pay taxes. <laughs> Let me continue. <laughs> we must all account for the wealth we have. Otherwise, don't go into public service. True. Stay private. But if you're in the public sphere and you're dealing with the public's money, the public needs to know what's happening with the money. And if you obtain businesses during that time, you get in a salary though most likely you're getting more than most people in 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 the, in the country in, in dominica's case in dominica the public servants the government officials are getting more money than the regular people in society therefore you can be able to do certain things no doubt about it but when you're telling me you're building all kind of houses all over the place building all kind of mansions and things on the salary that you're getting i mean people have to start ask, asking a question where did you get these funds and nobody wants to account it's okay the people don't even know if it's their money you take in and do that depleting them of them of their own resources but nobody wants to talk about it okay well. i have heard some rebuttals about uh, this lifestyle audit issue and saying everyone should then do it we can't target people does everyone handle public money exactly that's my point right there private public if you're handling public money the public you handling the money for must know what is happening with the money as and the money you gain as a result of the public you can't just be silent and telling people none of that damn business where money come from some you're not teammates man <laughs> those of us who choose to enter these public offices should be open to accountability do you agree guys Labor rights out there, do you agree? I mean, it's your money that they know. 
It's not just UWP money and Freedom Pipe money and, and, and Papi money and, and, and all the rest. And Unity money and whatever else that there. It's your money. Do you want your money to be accounted for? Okay. When you're in public office, you're not a private person. There's no privacy. I just said that. <laughs> if you drive a Range Rover, we want to know where you got the money. True. Because you're in public office. Yes. Yep. If you wear a Rolex, we want to know where you got the money. Yep. If it's your money that buy it or the public's money that buy it. Accountability, man. Otherwise, you don't qualify to serve and you shouldn't serve in those offices. And this is where the people come in. This is what the people should demand. But no, sometimes you pay the people to keep them oppressed. And the people like that and they wonder, boy, things are in Dominica and they complain. <laughs> they complain in things are in Dominica, you know, guys. You not to say they don't know, they complain in themselves things are. And they keep putting the same thing over and over again, expecting a different, different result. That's crazy. And that would be true no matter which party came into power. Yep. UWP, Freedom Party, DLP, UNIP, UNIPP, all of them. Progressive organizations do at lifestyle audits. I don't know. You can't become a millionaire out of saving in government. How, how have you done it? Hmm. How have you? Let me bring that back. You heard what he said, guys? Progressive organizations do at lifestyle audits. I don't know. You can't become a millionaire out of saving in government. How, how have you done it? How? How have you done it without abusing your position? How? <laughs> how have you done it without abusing your position? How are they building all these one in Vickers, another one building in in um, thing, in um, Mon Daniel, uh, Mon Bruce, Mon Daniel, and allegedly uh, there's another one that is being told to be rented right there. How are they getting all these monies from the salaries that they're getting? Unless they're pimping the people's money out to foreign people. And in turn, they're getting favors for that. Not for the country, but for themselves. And as a result of them getting favors and selling out the people, it's a huge possibility that the people get drugs. We'll come and build homes for you. <laughs> we'll, we'll build homes for you. If people want to be business people, go and do business. Yep, simple. If you want to save the people, save the people. It's, it's, it's funny yeah, because uh, just a week ago I had uh, the minister responsible for Lusaka and Rebo Boman and I asked him a very you know good question. Uh -huh. I asked him you know where he's gotten all his money from. I asked him if he's, he's, he's involved in, in, in some form of baiting. Uh -huh. You know he said no I, I do work and um, the money that government gives me is enough for me to spend you know. In, in Ask him for his payslip. Hmm. That payslip is public. Mm. You are a journalist, go on a boboman or someone to ask him for his payslip. You are entitled. He's saving you, the people. Yep. Seek for that information and check. Go and get my payslip. I can give you the payslip I was getting. I don't. But the thing is, in Dominicano, sometimes you might request these kind of things and they don't want to give it to you. Because it's their people that they put in positions to keep you out of their business, which apparently is your business. <laughs> But they're trying to make you think it's their business, so you have to stay out. And then if you go court now, sometimes the court self is for them, not for the people. So the court self is against you. So you see all kind of things that happen in Dominica. Interesting stuff. I don't think I ever got anything more than 30,000 kwacha as a net salary in that office. Probably maybe ministers get something way beyond that. Where? You can tell as a general, general, I was uh, serving in cabinet. Ask the ministers who are telling you they are being paid enough to give you their pay slips. You cannot become a millionaire from working in government. Let's be serious. We are serving people who are exchanging. Some are eating today at lunchtime. Others are eating tomorrow. People are dying in this country. Hmm. You know. But thank God for Dominica. We eh? even once for the beauty and not the beauty. We talk about beauty. Dominican has beauty. That's great. But if it wasn't for the fruits that Dominica can produce on its own without the people's help, you can be walking in a forest. This is one of the reasons why we always believe that if she was the, the, the missing girl was with um with, with the madman, she most likely would be able to eat some fruits or something in the place. Because you walk in the bush, we pass the bush, you know, guys. You saw when we did the vlog. 
This is the first time some of us go in there, but we are speaking mango, picking guava, picking all kind of things that sugar cane. I myself even see a different type of sugar cane I never see before. But it was nice. We was eating these kind of things along the journey in the bushes sometimes and all kind of things. So it's a huge possibility. Thank God for Dominica producing on its own to maintain the people. And when the people take an active measure to actually produce, realizing that things are bad in Dominica, they turn to agriculture. This is why a number of persons are on the road trying to sell things now. I saw more people selling on the road agricult agricultural stuff than I've ever seen in my life. More people all in different sectors of the road. Some people combine together. It's interesting. Some people on the side by side and they not, they're not working for each other. You know, they're working for themselves. And they're literally selling the same thing side by side. <laughs> well, anyways, let's continue. I, I, you cannot start pillaging national resources and then you even fool the people in the manner that you are being taught. There is no government salary that can make you a millionaire. Hmm. There is no You will live, yes. Okay, you can get a loan here and there. But certainly you can't become a super millionaire. That is for business people. And my basis of understanding salary and this kind of things, I think you can. Because most of the time, it's the, the people taking care of the, the government officials. They get to drive GA vehicles. They get to do a number of things. From my understanding, I don't know if it's in specific things and they, they take the vehicle and stuff. But I know in, in going um, 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 um college and this kind of things, the GA people used to go home with, um, government officials used to go home with GA vehicles. And it's, the, they, it's not their sad money they're taking and, and they use their money to buy gas. They're getting compensated. They have the receipt. They get the compensation for it. So it's the same people. The same people I was paying for this indicator. So the people tend to take care of the officials. It's interesting that they also increase their salaries about two or three times. And they just give the teachers or the public servants them the, the, the other half of their salary that they gave last year in December. To make it appear like it's a bonus they're giving individuals. <laughs> Hey, and they give them ten dollars more, ten to twenty dollars more. Sorry, on their salary, not per month, you know, per year. But they increase their salaries by fifty percent, and I know they increase their salary fifty percent one time. They increase their salary before, and I think they increased it again. So they can actually make it to the standing where they can do things. But the level of production that people are actually producing, especially um, building set of houses in the place. And buy not certain things in, in, in Roseau and wherever. I mean, you have to ask yourself a question. Where exactly is that money coming from? Is your money? Or they, their friends maybe give it to them, maybe. <laughs> that is why they no more government service. When I was in government, I didn't buy a brand new car. I didn't even buy a brand new car for my wife. The records are there. They can come and check. I didn't. I drove my GRZ car all three years. But I had been buying brand new cars before, from where I came from, out of my private business, before I ever served in government. Mm. I was buying brand new cars from the showroom. The three years I worked in government, I never bought a brand new car. That's interesting. I'm not saying that people, government officials can buy brand new car and their salary. I think they can. I mean, if you're making about $10,000 a month and you, the, 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 the people taking care of you, you should be able to save at least five thousand dollars per month. More than that, at least nine thousand dollars. Nine times twelve is what? Nine hundred and eighty, ninety, one hundred, one hundred eight thousand. So you should be able to buy a brand new vehicle, or well, at least put a down payment on it and pay it for the rest of the year and clear that after after in two years time. Guys, what are your thoughts, man? Let me know your thoughts in the comment box below. This is pretty much all about for this here reaction video. It's interesting how things are going right now, guys. But um, let me know your thoughts. Give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and turn on our post notifications so you can get all the videos as they tend to come from right there. And also, guys, don't forget to download the Mr. Leaks Tube app. I'll see you guys in the next reaction video. Boom, bang.